Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. And I'm just in the backyard right now, doing a little bit of yard work here, gathering up some biomass. Got ourselves a nice little area cleared out. Uh, can't go too far that way, because I do have some good hills up there, and uh, we'll go deal with them one of these days. Uh, but yeah, we got the lab up and running. It is self-sustaining, self-producing, except for this nasty hassle here, which isn't that bad because we've got a million trees around here uh, but one a couple of things we're actually going to need is one we're going to need xanite so we're going to have to go to the desert and I need to get titanium now I have been seeing a lot of titanium over by the cobalt mine it is a well populated area so we got some 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 yokels locals vermin we we'll call them we got to deal with there's a lot of a lot of godos there, a lot of those deers, whatever they are. No brand, so other than that, we're okay. But I have an idea I want to do for sort of off site, not only off site mining, but off site cargo transport. Uh, it's going to be an idea that's, idea that's going to use the new conveyor connectors, which, of course, every time they come out, I always try to do something. And this will also be the first official build of. The new season. I have changed things around here a little bit here. Uh, I don't know if you can notice. I can actually change the floor and all the rooms black now, and just to get a little more detail. I added three more printers, and the reason being is I actually have uh, all of them producing one of everything constantly. So this one is doing nothing but frames. This one is plates. This one's glass. That one's mechanical parts there, and I've color coded them too. This one's supposed to be circuits, but I am missing silicone so that's actually going to be something I might have to try to get that other silicone mine set up this one's level one parts this is fabrics and what is it short on oh the silicone of course so yeah we need silicone too now I put a little access box in here as you can see it is a little laggy but it's not like it could be not like it has been and not like it ever will be That's not too bad for having 24 storage containers and, uh, well, we only got five miners, seven printers, and that's it. And, and I decided to add a little bit of color and add a bit of life into the room here, and I decided to put a picture of my friend here. He wishes he could be in, in the world with me and help me out, painting my walls random colors for me, and... Uh, randomly turning things off and disconnecting stuff for me so I thought well let's let's bring my 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 minion into the lab and this is Vogue so he's given me permission to walk all over him throughout the season so there we go uh, have any of you ever uh, set up on these little you know small block walls or floors or whatever just for painting or whatever doing different textures let me know in the comments and uh yeah but anyways i'm gonna go empty my inventory get some stuff ready and sleep and i'll bring you back oh yeah i uh added a lot more light to it and actually brightened it up in here but let me do a quick little tour in here of the food and drink room and i missed a conveyor there got that the wrong color and yeah, and then I changed it too, so every corridor here, except for the front here, has two doors on either side, so now I'm not trying to figure out what side of the wall the do doors have, and whatnot, but yeah, I shall see you in the morning. Okay, I have everything ready to go, so the first thing we're going to do is actually we're going to set up a place to drop the containers. Uh, I'm not going to put them right on any foundation or anything like that. Uh, but what I am going to do is do something that's probably going to cause a little bit of lag for the both of us. And uh, it's going to be to take... That's actually... Before I do this, I actually want to just double check this. But I'm pretty sure that the conveyor con connectors, as long as they're one block apart, it doesn't matter how they're facing. So if I have them side by side like this, they connect. So what I'm going to use, I'm actually going to use that as like a connector for a container that's going to have those ports on it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly it in, drop it down, and sort of nudge it into place to connect it up to the system. Then if that's empty or if we need more, we can either 
bring another one or empty it or something. Uh, the, they're going to have to do something about the storage system. I, I was going through those containers upstairs. It's an absolute nightmare. But anyways, let's go ahead and cause some like. One, two, three, four, five, six, six seconds. Notice any time I do anything to the the conveyor system, it gets extremely laggy. It's not like it was though. Definitely an improvement. Then we'll go this way on this side. Right, we'll finish them up because it's going to be hard to get into once I get the conveyor connectors in. And of course, I did them the wrong color. And I'll do those orange. And the connectors, we'll probably do them. Um, well, let's do them blue. Why not? Okay, so we'll put one there. And there, and connect them. And this is going to lag. Actually, that wasn't bad. They're supposed to be connected. Uh, hmm. It goes straight to the, that. Alright, well, I should be able to. This box has to go through that connector so they get to the door. They need to put a doorstep in there. And yes, it is connected. You can tell by the leg. As long as I see the large containers, that's all that matters because they're at the, the end of the line. And yes, I'm going to say that is a go. Yeah. Okay. Now for the container. Uh, let me actually do something about this. I actually use this store quite a bit. Uh, I need everything. Whatever. Really placing miners down. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go head out to head back to the s south, yeah, to the tundra area where we get that cobalt, and we're going to try to find some titanium. We might have to take care of a couple of nests and hope they despawn or despawn them ourselves, one of the two. But, uh, let me just get this in, and then I'll we'll start building my... Uh, my new fire. Alright, so the way I want to do this is I actually want to plant this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, we'll build the container first, why not? And by plant I mean uh, stick, a, stick a pole in the ground and attach it to it. Oh, that's actually quite interesting for being black. That orange really accents it pretty good. Anyway, uh, so now we need a container. So we'll take this, we'll make the container blue. Why not? Blue shipping container. And all I want to do, if it'll let me, just snap it to the side. So then that way, it'll be floating. They don't really have too much color to them, do they? Right, I know they're five wide, which is good because that's perfect for using a hook. Uh, but I don't know how long they are, so let's count, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So twelve. All right. So then I guess we'll put. Because I've already figured out I need twenty air blades to lift this thing. On there. There. So it's counting for my purposes. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a hook on top of this thing. Uh, yeah, I'll go one more. Uh, the craft, you're going to probably see it probably see it in the thumbnail. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do for a thumbnail yet, but it's more or less going to straddle the hooks. It's going to have 20 air blades on it. It's going to be enough to actually lift it off the ground. And hopefully it works. So let me get ahead, go ahead and finish up these hooks, and then I'll bring it back when it's time to start working on the, the heavy lifter. 
Alright, there's my shipping container. So, judging by the height of the ground, I'm going to need the conveyor connectors on this port here. That's not a conveyor connector. Of course not, I took them off the hot bar. Why would I have them there? It's not like I'd ever need them again. Oh god, no, not me. Not good old BC here. Alright, so one there, and then one there. And because these are spaced, got a one block space in between them. When I go to line this up, I don't have to be necessarily in a certain spot. I have, you know, quite a bit of room to line up this way. I just got to nudge it up and just close enough and then just drop it down to the ground and back up and let her go. So this is what my plan is because I don't trust anything in this game when I'm le loading a chunk that's been unloaded, especially stuff that's been unplanted. So when I drop, when I actually drop it down, it's almost, that's funny, it's almost like they're connected to each other. That'd be funny if I opened that up and it was an endless loop because it was trying to connect to itself over and over and over again. Uh, this might cause a problem. <laughs> you never know. Uh, I've seen crazy stuff before. Uh, but yeah, I got just got to make sure to plant it when I go and drop it off. So, just grab the old ground, ground stick here, which is like that, and then that just prevents it from being handled by physics when we come back and then we just unplant it like so and so on and so forth so now for the craft now it's going to also be something that I can actually land so it is going to be a little higher uh, the hooks will have to be they're going to have to be one block up to prevent it from sliding they're going to be two blocks deep which isn't an issue but I have to make sure I have enough room to go down so three and then I'm going to back in and out with it do I have to move those hooks I'm actually going to have to move these back one and forward one and at the same time, too, I gotta, I gotta make sure that it has some sort of support coming below the hooks. So when I go to land on it, it has something to land on besides the two hooks in the middle. So let me move these hooks, and I'll bring you back when I got a bit, bit of a design for the flyer here. Okay, I got everything. I got a bit of an idea here. Uh, also, for those that caught my little mistake yesterday about the. Uh, surprise to second live stream. I apologize. I hit start streaming instead of start recording when I started recording this episode. And I got comment what? And the other one was hmm. So I was like, well, what's going on? What's this about? And then I realized that was uh, my little blunder here. But anyways, this is what I got going on here. Uh, I might make this down a little bit more, but I need to get some hooks in here. So let's go ahead and move this like this. I thought I'd do a yellow just because. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, that should be good enough. Oh, that's not what I'm looking for. Alright. Uh, I don't know how many air blades I'm going to need. So I think I should only need 20, but I'm going to go with 24 just in case. And put another one of these on top just to prevent it from sliding. So that's going to be one hook. It looks really funny. Uh, and we'll do the same at the back here. That was a two down. Yes. And then an elbow. That's not an elbow. That is an elbow. Alright. Now, I honestly don't know if this is going to lift it or not. It should. If I can find the right angle here. Okay, and like uh, so. All right, as long as as long as I can get in there and pick up the hooks, and I pick it up with the hooks, you know, I might I might have to give myself a little bit more room. I'm not exactly the best pilot in the world, so let's bring this down and then. Uh, I'm going to get this adjusted and get the air blades on here and I'll bring you back after that's done. Alright, there we go. It has 22 air blades on right now. Uh, I'm thinking about it. I might actually put a few more in just because I had the space. I wanted to get 24. 
I guess we don't really have any gaps. And yeah, I uh, decided to make it look like a, like a bum bumblebee. You know why? Because honestly, this thing is going to look too big, too heavy to fly. And that's uh, the oddity about the bumblebee is that apparently it shouldn't be able to fly considering its wings are too small for the size of its body. But when have I been when have I been wrong about things like that? Uh, what was it in? Oh yeah, air blades. Uh, no matter what, even with tw even with uh, 22 air blades, we were not going to have enough power to do it. I had to get it off the ground, so I have decided to. Well, that's no good. I won't be able to color code them now. That's too many yellow here. I won't be able to run off of one generator, so I'll have to get a second deuterium generator, which is, which is fine, because I got, I don't know how many stacks in the system right now. I got a stack on me already, so that helps out. And put a couple more in the front. We'll get these ones black on the inside. Uh, actually, it's a bad spot to put them. I got the hook here. We'll try it without. Okay, so now for power. And yeah, go four. Now let's see how this place is. How big is it? Is it a three by three? Let's see one, two, three. Yeah, it's three. So this can go in the front. That's no problem. Place you there, then place one in the back. Like so. And then the driver's seat. I'm gonna go with the glass one on this. And I'm gonna sit right there. Now what color do I get to be? I get to be yellow. Mm, chicken. Yellow. Glass. Oh, the one thing I forgot. Okay. Generator. Um, black generator in the front, and this actually works out keeping the uh, the weight right in the middle. Like honestly, I like to have it a little bit more forward because the container is going to be sitting there. So let's actually let's move this number four. Let's see if we can move it here and see what happens. So it does move it forward a little bit. Actually, that's good. And the reason why I say it's good, the center of mass is almost directly in between these two posts here. Or, yeah, which will be fine. Uh, if it gets a little front heavy, it gets a little front heavy, it gets a little back heavy, it's fine. And yeah, so let me get some glass, get some daylight, and get this thing wired up and configured and then we'll see if we can actually lift this thing and if we can then we're gonna go and see if we can find some titanium so give me a moment okay morning is here and as you can see by the uh, <laughs> the view through the window it is ready to go decided to put some better legs on it make it look more like a bug I'll have to take that out uh, everything is configured. I was thinking about putting antennas on it, but it's already a little too front heavy as it is, so we'll just leave it as is. So, the first thing I gotta do is unplant this. And then, gotta get some fuel in this thing. Actually, let's unplant this first. See if it disappears. Nope, it's still there. Just shed a little bit of weight there. You could actually see that moving forward as I was taking those off. Which is good. Alright, and then what was it? Alt? No, that's not Alt. There we go. Alt. Uh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's why it's not turning on because it can't do it by itself. There we go. Gives me eight hours. So hopefully, okay, so this is actually going to save my fuel. Uh, I guess I don't have to use C. Alright, well, let's see what happens. 
Uh, make sure it's maneuverable. That's not too bad. So now let's see if we can actually get in there. Should be straightforward. For the fact that it can't strafe. And I'm drifting. But... Let's see if I can get... Come on. You can do it. Yeah. Yeah, the leg's catching. See if I can reposition this a little bit. Yeah, it's a problem not having key bindings. And at the same time, too, it seems like uh, Unity accounts for aerodynamic drift. There we go. Haha, <laughs> we have it. That's cool. Let's zoom out on this. Oh, that's awesome. That actually worked. Alright, we got the show on the road. I actually do have enough stuff on me to get a miner set up. So, uh, we were heading south. We're going to go take this down, get another system set up. Oh, that's so cool how the container swings like that. See if we can knock it off. All right. Perfect. So, I shall see you there. Okay, I am back. Finally. I've been working on this episode for a couple of days now. I was down there by the in the Arctic Tundra for a long time. I was searching everywhere, and all I was finding was aluminum and cobalt, and I couldn't figure out what was going on. Well, there's silver down there. We could use that, but uh, one of the the veterans in the, in the steam forums had mentioned in an, uh, an old post to look for these foothills just before you before you get to the desert. So I've come a long way from here, flew all the way up past the base, all the way up to here. Uh, there's a little ship here we're going to check out on the way back, but I am almost at the equator. The equator's right here, and I have found titanium and uranium. It's actually a good deposit, too. So what I need to do is first get out of here, and i got to find a, a flat enough spot to actually drop the container down, because I can't actually pick it up unless it's flat. So, uh, let's actually use the right mouse button for this, just to get something. I was thinking about setting up a platform for it, and I think we could do that as long as we plant it, it should be okay. Uh, so, let's do that. Let's get into build mode here. We'll start with this, where you're going to make this green so we can actually see it. And this is just going to be something to actually set the container on. And now we need ceiling panels. It has been a very long time trying to, for me to try to find this stuff, and I finally have it. And I'm happy about it. So and then what I'm gonna do is just do three like that, fill them up, and then I can just set the container right on top of here. When I drop the container down, I'm just gonna make sure to plant it, so that way it doesn't clip through here, doesn't do anything stupid. All right. So now, yeah. I was also thinking about this too. Originally, I was gonna try to get like solar panels and batteries and stuff like that going. And I thought, well, wait a minute, I got everything on me. I should be able to make the refinery. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that. I want to see if I actually have enough to build the refinery right now. And I'm gonna take that as a yes because I'm pretty sure I have all that. So then what we can do is we can actually I actually have to build. Well, yeah, I'll build off the miner be cheaper because those uh, conveyor connectors aren't exactly cheap uh, let's actually uh, yeah I'll just do it this way so it's gotta go over there good thing I brought a lot of mechanical parts on me like there's just so much titanium here in fact I actually might want to bring that back a little bit because I 
care more about the titanium than anything. All right, um, one more little tap there. Okay, so we'll do that. Sure. Oh yeah, it's because that place is crooked. All right, let's do this this way there. So now the container points this way. And I'm going to do that. Uh, should I try to get a refinery here? I think so. Uh, what was that? Zero? Yeah, well, actually... Actually, no, let's put a T there instead. Where is that a T? Number eight. That's not number eight. I'll stick the refinery on this side. Of course, I will have to jumpstart this whole thing until it actually gets some uranium. And that's too, not far enough. So actually, just put another one of these here. And this should give me enough titanium to last me a while. I will have to come back every once in a while and drop off the container, pick up a new one. Come on. Fine, I'll stick another conveyor on you then. I was trying to be cheap, I guess it wasn't working. Alright, please don't have enough for this. I do. And I do. Awesome. So now, go ahead and just bring this over to... Let's actually drop the container down. So we get a better idea of where we want to put it. Can't jump. Can't fly that high. I gotta be careful too, because sometimes I try to fly up and grab the cockpit, but I got the switchboard on the back. <laughs> there was one time I actually turned the power off by mistake. There we go. All right, so we just go like so. We go. It's kind of difficult dealing with the drift, but at least we can back her up. So we can line it up, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, I'm going to be planting it afterwards. Right there. Perfect. Should have given myself a little bit more room on those folks. And there we go. And I'll just leave this because it has lots of power. I, still, I think I still got like six and a half hours charge left. All right, first, let's go ahead and plant this before it goes anywhere. That's not post. Yeah. So that's not going to go anywhere. Now I can just build up my conveyors out to that, and we are good to go. I think I'm the same height too. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Alright, uh, yeah. Trying to get, get my little alignment good. And we will go one, two. That'll do. And then just connect it over there. If I can get out of this hole or off this rock or whatever, stop me from moving. Okay, yeah, these conveyor connectors are awesome, so many things you can do with them. Something like this when I first started playing, not a chance. Even trying to get a conveyor system set up in your own base was hard enough as it was. Alright, one more, and then a conveyor connector. And, it's not close enough. Uh, let's go nine. Oh, it's seven. And yes, I realize I gotta switch it all over to green or orange. All right. So the conveyor connectors were blue. Okay, that's good. And now orange. I keep the minor green just because it should technically be brown. 
or beige or whatever, because I'm going for the titanium. Okay, and two more. Oh, yeah, suit battery. All right, where is my switchboard? Uh, switchboard, I might have to, like I said, I might have to jumpstart this. Oops. Really? Oh, come on. Can't stick this on anything. Uh, will it go on the miner? No, it won't go on the miner. But it will go on the other port. Like so. Okay, you, that, that. Alright, so now I gotta bring this thing over. I do have some uranium in here already. I got a lot of uranium on me, actually. I'm gonna take that titanium because we're gonna leave this container here. I might camp out here for a day or so and take a few stacks back. Up we go. I'm just gonna give the refinery a bit of a jump start. Actually, that's something I completely <laughs> didn't even think about. Uh, and I'm sure you all know what it was. And yes, yeah, so I forgot to build the generator. That's probably the one thing I'm going to be missing. Let's find out. Uh, yeah, I'll put it here. Yeah, let's get rid of the switchboard and see if we can stick the generator right on it. And I have enough. Oh, that's great. Oops. Let's uh, let's make it green. Why not? It's a uranium generator. Okay. So now, I'll give you that, and will that switchboard reach? No, it won't because I don't have it on there anymore. Uh, switchboard. Are you going to connect to that? Oh, you just reach. Okay, you. Infinite uranium rods, please. And as soon as the first one's done crafting, we are good to go. Let's see what the miner's doing. Oh, 50 50. Ooh. Look at that. Nice. And you have power. Good. Okay, and just for when I come back, I am gonna uh, unconnect that. Because that is self sustaining. So there we have it. Oh, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking at. I want to look at this one. And make sure we can see the miner over here. I like how these don't actually need power. We should be able to see the miner, the refiner, and the generator. All right. So there we have it. We have some off-site mining set up. I'm going to get something like this set up at uh, uh, way back over at D there. And that, will, that way we'll get us some silver. Uh, we will have to come back this way to go to the desert, get some more xanite, but that's okay because we got containers. We just gotta move them back and forth. Uh, if you're wondering why I just didn't build a container when I brought it here, it's to see if I could actually carry that thing from here to the back to the base. But, anyways, that's gonna be it for this episode. And I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and oops, <laughs> leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.